Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss HTML5 video tag. Before HTML5 to play video files, user need to install plugins like Flash Player or any equivalent player inside browsers, which would take more storage, extra resources. Also, almost all of the mobile platforms don't support Flash Player nowadays. I think you know that. Then what is the solution to these problems? How do we let user to play video files on any platform without depending on plugins? The solution is HTML5 video tag. Almost all modern browsers of almost all platforms support HTML5 video tag. Now using HTML5 video tag, user can play video files without installing any plugins because videos are directly played by the browsers, hence need not to depend on plugins. Let's try to use the video tag and understand how it works. First I create an HTML document. So I go to start, type here notepad, I click on notepad. Here I am going to write the basic HTML structure, less than doc type HTML, HTML lang equal to en, closing HTML tag, opening head tag, closing head tag, opening body tag, closing body tag. In the head section, I write meta care set equal to UTF-8 close. I set the title as HTML5 video tag demo closing title. I save the file, file, save as. I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotations and save the file at desktop. You can see the file got created. I right click on it, open with the Firefox. You can see default.html page got open and title is set to HTML5 video tag demo. I minimize it. I right click once again on default.html page, open with the Internet Explorer. I say no. You can see default.html page got open and title is set to HTML5 video tag demo. I minimize it. I go to the notepad. In the body tag, I am going to use video tag. Video tag is a pair tag, so I am going to write here less than video greater than. I have written here opening video tag and then I write closing video tag. Simple, right? Video tag has one of the attribute called as src that takes the source video file that you want to play. It is very simple. Here I have a video you can see with the name wildlife. I am going to copy that name and paste it here. Control V wildlife dot mp4. So, I have used the video tag with the source attribute set the video very simple. I say file, save, go to Firefox and refresh. You can see that I am getting the first frame of the video. Actually videos width is 1000 above and height is more than 700. So you can see I am getting the very big black screen over. This is actually the first frame of the video friends. Same thing I try to open in uh, Internet Explorer. I go to Internet Explorer. I refresh the page. If I refresh the page, you can see that nothing is happening here. I am not getting that black frame or the first frame of the video also. The reason is if I click on help, go to about Internet Explorer, you can see that I am using Windows Internet Explorer 8, which HTML video tag is um, not supported in Internet Explorer 8. So I should tell to the user that your browser don't support the video tag. Please upgrade your Internet Explorer to the higher version. How do we do that? To do that in between the opening and closing video tag, here we need to write that content. I say here, this browser don't support video tag. Please upgrade to higher versions. If I write like that, the content that I have written here is actually called as fallback content. This part of the video tag is going to get execute if the video tag is not supported by the browser. I say file, save, I go to Firefox and refresh. You can see I am getting the first frame of the video because Firefox supports the video tag. Whereas if I go to Internet Explorer and say refresh, you can see now I am getting the fallback content. This browser don't support video tag. Please upgrade to higher version. Now the user understands, okay, the browser version is maybe lower and he upgrades to higher version and start using the video tag. What else we can do? 
or uh, instead of displaying the fallback content what we can do is we can use the embed tag e m b e d embed tag we have learned the embed tag embed tag is also used to embed the external resources right so i am going to copy this video name and paste it and uh, at the end i close the embed tag we know that if we embed a video by using the embed tag the installed plugin is going to play the video again this is a fallback content if the video tag is not supported then the embed tag is going to be executed let me say file save go to firefox and refresh you can see the video tag is supported by the firefox hence i am finding the first frame of the video i go to internet explorer and say refresh you can see it is telling please activate the activex control which is going to play the video i am going to right click and say allow blocked content and say yes now you can see that the video is loaded and video is played by the browser plugin you can see that i can pause it also it has added the control at the bottom you can see that this is not played by the browser the video is getting played by the plugin that is present inside the browser that is the activex control that is actually playing this video if the activex control is not available then the video also will not get play so user must and should depend on the plugin to play the video but using the html5 video tag the videos are played by the browser itself user need not to depend on any plugins now we have understood how do we can play the video or how do we solve if we get some problems right and also you can see that when i refresh the internet explorer automatically the video is getting played right the video is automatically getting played i just click on pause button to pause the video how do i play the video automatically in firefox to do that video tag has one of the attribute called as auto play auto play if i say auto play and file save go to firefox and refresh you can see now the video is getting played automatically you can see that right but one of the problem is if i click anywhere it is not getting paused right and also at the bottom i don't have any video controllers to control this video so i can't pause it what i do now is i just open new window and close this i hope you guys have understood how do you auto play a video by using the auto play attribute of the video tag if you do not want to automatically play the video you just need to remove this attribute also i want to set the embed tag attribute auto start auto start equal to false so that the video should not get play automatically in internet explorer also file save go to firefox and i open the file let me minimize all these things i right click on default.html page open with the firefox you can see i am getting the first frame it is not automatically getting played i go to internet explorer and say refresh you can see here also i am seeing the first frame of the video and video is not automatically getting played because in embed tag i have written auto start equal to false and in video tag i don't have the auto play but only one difference we can find in embed tag and video tag at present is here at the bottom we don't have any controls in our firefox whereas in internet explorer we are finding the controls which we can use to play pause so many things we can perform we can control the audio level or sound level you can see that to add controls to our video tag we use an attribute called as controls so if i say controls automatically the controls are added to the video file save go to firefox and refresh you can see now the video is not playing automatically and at the bottom we have video controllers so we have play and pause button added you can see we have track bar also we have audio or sound level controller we also have here maximize button to maximize the video to the full screen and if i click on the play button video will get play if i click on the pause button the video will get pause hope you guys have understood how do we use the video tag and how do we use its attribute src controls and autoplay if video tag is not supported then how do we play the video 
or how do we give fallback information to the user so for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial i am going to discuss more on html5 video for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial